Are you ready to create AI assistance for project management in your business? In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create AI assistance that will, well, assist you when it comes to the project management side of your business. Now, all of this will be created using ChatGPT, whether you are using the pro version or the free version, whatever that looks like for you. I want to make sure that this is accessible for you and easy for you to get started with. Now, in previous videos, I've talked about how to make admin ones, content marketing ones, and sales ones, and now we'll focus on project management. So of course, make sure to watch until the end of this video for all of that. Now, when I say creating an AI assistant, I mean automating a lot of the tasks and outputs that are a little bit repetitive and creating an assistant on ChatGPT, a thread basically, where anytime that you have questions on that, you have the one person or the AI assistant, they can go to to ask it more questions, to get more detailed, so on and so forth. So there's going to be five different assistants that we'll be creating today. One is your project creator. Two is your task creator. Third one is your team communication writer. Fourth is basically your KPI checker. Fifth one is going to be your document creator. Now, depending on where you are at in the stage of project management within your business, these different AI assistants are going to be there basically to work with you and assist with you. And if you want a more custom AI assistant, go ahead and fill out our are you ready for AI scorecard below so you can get started and hopefully hopping on a call with me. So first off, before you do anything with ChatGPT, I want to walk you through what the WO method is. Is If you're creating any thread on ChatGPT to get the best results, best input in, best output out, is you want to use the WO method to start it off with. Now what it is, is essentially W is giving it context of who you are and what you do. The O is giving the outcome that you need from it. The A is asking it, are you ready? And then the H is basically, how do you want it to respond? So for example, here, I is just said I am an AI consultant for coaches and consultants for their operations and marketing and implementing AI in their business the outcome and then are you ready and then at the end I put in I need your responses to be straight to the point and with action steps if applicable so right there that is essentially a little bit of the template that you can start using as you put in your first chat essentially into chat GPT now for the first type of AI assistant we create who is essentially your project creator um, we'll put here um, the outcome of you will act as an expert project manager. So who we want to work with basically, specializing. So whatever it is that you want them to specialize in, specializing in the scrum method, but without programmers. So that's kind of the, my own um, preference a little bit when it comes to project management. Again, depends on you if you want to use the agile method all the other methods that are out there you will create projects for my business that are more internal so you can make this into uh, you know you will help manage the onboarding process project blah 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 whatever that looks like for you the point of this ai assistant is then if you are just getting started on a project that you want to work on within your business you can have it create that so you'll create projects for a business that are more internal Completes with possible deadlines, budgets, etc. So that is basically the whole prompt. Are you ready? And I need your responses to be straight to the point and with action steps as applicable. So I'm gonna hit enter on that, and usually it will dive in and ask you questions. But since I did say make it straight to the point, so what's the first project you'd like to work on for your business? So I would actually go ahead and because I just said it earlier, uh, I would like to create a more robust client onboarding process as a project. How can, actually we said, what do you need from me to start this project? So now every single time that you're going to create a project within your business, you can go ahead and have this AI be able to build it out, especially if you're happy with this. So let's say you're not happy with this, you can give it feedback like, oh, I need X, Y, and Z. I need this kind of information from you. So here it already gave us, you know, detailed description of the current onboarding process, steps involved, goals and objectives, resources, timeline, and then the key performance indicators now so put here you know my current process is straightforward 15 minute call proposal 90 minute strategy session recurring consulting what are your suggestions if i want this to become more professional and detailed 
as I grow my team. So basically there, it's I'm already asking it. Now the cool thing is sometimes it'll do this, uh, walking you through the two different responses that it would have had. Um, I would like, you know, this one, this is the, the one that I want to keep using. So no, that's basically it. It's It now has that as a walkthrough. So then I can ask it, create a project breakdown that I can give to a project manager to start the task breakdown process. So here it'll start creating a brief basically that we can give to someone else. Um, and now it actually already broken down and you can add again, you can ask AI at you know, X, Y, and Z at this kind of factor it at this kind of thing. So then it can make that more detailed. Now the next AI system will create is essentially that task breakdown manager. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to click new and then um, you will act as an extra project manager. You will create, you will sort of change this. You will break down a project brief I give to you into tasks, team members needed, and who's in charge of those tasks, timeline, and a brief I can give to team members involved. So then from here, I will say, yep, ready, you know, give me the thing. Then we can go back into the AI project manager for creating them. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and copy this whole thing, except for the budget, because the budget will, will, will fix that later. We'll make that better later. Um, we can add more details, but you say, here's the project brief. So then from there, it'll hopefully grab what it, what it is that we need for it. And then it's now breaking down those tasks. So who's who, who's needed. So the planning phase, um, you know, team lead, project manager, so on and so forth. Um, and then team members needed, project manager, design team, content team, the timeline that we need, and then uh, the brief for the team members, um, and so on and so forth. So you can make this even more specific of create the brief for the project manager, create the brief for the design team, so on and so forth. But this now, as you are getting more and more detailed into your projects that you're trying to create, ChatGPT is doing that with you essentially. So the next step of this is now essentially your team communication writer. So this is the purpose of this AI assistant is for you to start creating the emails, the communication style for your team to let them know what's happening on the project. So again, the point of this is now anytime you're creating a new project, you ask this AI assistant. Anytime you're breaking down that project, you now have the brief, you can go ahead and ask this assistant. Now, the next assistant that we're going ahead and creating is essentially the team communication writer. So you will ask as, um, and then here you will write the email briefs for the team members for the project we're creating that gives them clarity after I give you the project brief. So this gives a little bit of specificity basically on when they're supposed to give you that, that communication. So I'm gonna go back here. So you can see, hopefully you guys can see how each one is essentially a uh, bleed over to the next one. So I'm gonna copy that whole thing. I'm gonna copy that, I'll paste it here. Here's the brief, paste that in there. And then um, I'm gonna just double check. I'm gonna breeze the chat GPT that's there. It's looking out for that. So I'm gonna paste that in there and then as that process is it, then it'll start creating a pretty good breakdown of who's supposed to be doing what, what's supposed to happen next. You can have it be writing it basically on the style that you want. But the point of it is now literally in the last, however long this video has been, in the last 10 minutes of this video, I have created a whole project that can now essentially give to my team members. Of course, I can customize it, I can make it my own. That is the goal with ChatGPT, is supposed to be your first draft, but I can now give this to my team. Now the next AI system will create for project management is essentially your KPI creator and checker. So what this is, is I'll go ahead and copy this again. So you guys can see how each kind of sequence is off of each other. Now you very well can create all of these AI systems in one chat. You don't have to do it the way that I'm doing it where I'm separating all of them to different types. You definitely ask the project creator assistant to just create the project and then say from this brief, 
go ahead and break down the tasks and the team members needed and then from that create the, the written communication for that email so that essentially becomes your overall project assistant so for that main project you're creating you can keep asking that assistant back and forth i'm just creating the different ones that anytime that you are creating different projects you can ask that specific one that do that sequence but again i wanted to kind of give you an, a really good idea of how it can be done how we can compile all of them how one can empower the other basically so here instead of creating email briefs you will break down the project into KPIs per team member and the overall KPI of the project. So send that in. Again, go back into our Scrum experts from the task basically. Actually, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go to the brief. There you go. I'm gonna click back here. So sometimes it just did it ahead when I didn't want it to. So you'll break down a bit of the project based on the brief I give you. So then this one will like, hey, I'm ready now to receive your brief. I will now paste in the brief. Uh, and then I will actually go ahead and now start creating it based off of the information that I did. So this becomes your KPI per team member of what they're supposed to be doing. And the reason why it's a creator and a checker is then every single week you can give an update like, hey, here's the report, here's what we've done so far. Are we off of our KPI or are we in line with the KPI? So it's just a really cool way to now have a back and forth AI assistant that you can use. And the last AI assistant, at least for this video, that you can create using ChatGPT is essentially your document creator. So anytime later on that as you are already compiling, you've created it, you can ask that AI assistant and you can do it in the same way. I won't show it here because then that would have been a little bit more of a developed kind of AI assistant is you can ask it like, hey, go ahead and create documentation for the whole project that we've created so far. It could be creating the SOPs, it could be creating the assets, the templates, whatever it is that you need, any documentation that you want to have written up with ChatGPT, you can go ahead and do that. So you can make that as specific, as generic as you want, but that is essentially the idea of the document creator AI assistant for your project management. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what kind of AI assistant are you looking to create? I would love to know. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to build business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And remember that small steps matters. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.